an autumn day in a classroom at Emory University in Atlanta. First, I want to go over just some of the factual things that we're dealing with. The professor, Hank Klibanoff, is in his element. Follow your native gut instincts on these things. Teaching, probing, guiding, questioning these young minds, a mutual pursuit of knowledge and truth. And as he would say, isn't it fun? He means it, and he's infectious. Hank Klibanoff, this endlessly curious reporter at heart, this Pulitzer Prize-winning reporter and writer imbues those around him with delight in the work. Let's just go over a few things that we're going to talk about, the reading. Always has. Back in the 1960s at Coffee High School in Florence, Alabama, the adults who were supervising the student newspaper, The Stimulator, somehow, for reasons lost to journalism, Look the other way when the popular editor-in-chief came up with the title for his column in The Stimulator. He named it, we quote here, Hanky Panky. He's still kind of proud of himself for that one. Too many years later to count, when he was managing editor of the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, true to form, Hank Klibanoff could not contain his delight each time there was a breakthrough, an exclusive on a story. This time, as Jan Winburn recalls, it was a scoop thanks to the tenacity of one of his reporters. He said Hank sat across from him and his eyes just lit up. And he said, isn't it fun? Isn't journalism and history fun? And, you know, he, that's, that was kind of the infectious quality he had. Jan Winburn, an AJC editor then, was infected too. Double check questionable items. She has seen Klibanoff's love for the work inspire others, and she has seen how it pushes him to dig relentlessly and with purpose into his tumultuous, heartbreaking times. Hank Klibanoff grew up in the 50s and 60s in Alabama. He witnessed storm clouds gather and then erupt their cleansing fury across the land and its people. His deep roots would, for the rest of his life, feed his passionate and eloquent journalism across the nation as a reporter and as an editor in Mississippi, then Boston, Philadelphia, the Midwest, Atlanta. Klibanoff's unique vocabulary of the head and heart, a Southerner reporting for a national audience, helped equip him to report and write, along with Gene Roberts, his seminal work, The Race Beat. It reveals the role of journalism. During the buildup and the height of the civil rights movement, how both black and white journalists covered the travesties and the transformations, and how they influenced a nation to action with stark power of facts hard won. The Race Beat won the 2007 Pulitzer Prize for History. The Race Beat is a really important book, I think, in part because it gives the reader great insights into the important role that the press has played in the kind of evolution and outcomes of the civil rights movement. It was only one part of a career lifetime of achievement. 20 years earlier, Klibanoff was based in Chicago for the Philadelphia Inquirer. He traveled through the Midwest for months, covering what seemed, for so many, the end of days. The farm crisis was devastating families who were losing their livelihood, their hope, their future. Jan Winburn was also at the Inquirer then. She followed Klibanoff's coverage, astounded at the depth of his reporting and the elegance of his writing. She is from the Midwest. She had family on those farms. She was ready to be his toughest critic. And I saw this guy writing this story not only as the important sort of national economic story it was, but the deeply human story that it was. Um, you had farm families um, having to sell off their farms um, to big corporations and, and even suicides among farmers. So many of us, we have to parachute into a place to cover a story. And there's always that peril of, of cliché or, or reducing a place to, um, to a cliché. And, and Hank went so far the other direction to not do that. Hank Klibanoff, tireless most of the time. Did anybody do any independent research? The reporter who is his Lucy own toughest fine. editor always, demanding of himself and others in his newsrooms specific crisp writing of places and of people and their hearts from the heart, for the reader, for the story. When I was a kid, I always thought I'd, 
I'd like to grow up and be a journalist. And Hank is really the kind of journalist I would have always wanted to be. He was a great reporter, a great editor, he's a great motivator, and he's just a lot of fun to be with. AJC attorney Peter Canfield worked closely with Klibanoff during Klibanoff's six years as the AJC's managing editor, and Canfield envied him. All right, what other, any, any other research this week? Hank Klibanoff keeps doing what he loves. Now on one of the toughest stories of his career, Based in Atlanta, he is managing editor of the Civil Rights Cold Case Project. He is using the tools of investigative journalism and guiding a team of reporters to try to solve the too many unsolved civil rights murders during the worst storms he's witnessed from the time he was a child in the South, bringing the disciplines and power of journalism to families whose souls still cry for answers and justice. His cross-disciplinary mission, winning the respect of professors and researchers in other fields who learned from him. We're forced to think about the importance of accuracy, about um, kind of tightness in language and logic and argument. And that's one of the things that he continually, I think, um, impresses upon our students, is our, is, our rep is our obligations to our craft, to our prof profession, but also to the people whose lives we're actually trying to make sense of. Following the track of history here. The serious work of history-making, life-changing journalism, the important and lasting work of Hank Klibanoff, and just being able to do it. Isn't it fun?